I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how you find out if you've got a hack siding job. Your first uh, clue is this, very simple here. Small piece of siding. There in no way, shape, or form should be a fucking foot long piece of siding. Anything under three feet is actually obsolete. This here is on, on well, that one there's a doable, but it's not right. Should be maybe a six foot panel. Uh, J channel work seems to be pretty good. Window casing seems to be pretty good. So, but the, right here, right here, absolutely not. That panel should not be there. It should be a full fucking panel. Saving fucking material right there. That's unacceptable. They should have ran a full 60 fucking inch panel there. Dog boxes seem okay. Uh, weather heads on tight. But overall, it's a poor... I mean, overall, from the looks of it, cosmetically, it looks good for the naked eye. But someone that's done it before, it looks terrible. Uh, they're notching around is fine, but that's easy. Corner posts are running good. Again, seams should not be on top of each other. Not on top of each other. Especially, like I say, that, that should not be there. It should be at least five foot. Corners do match. You want to make sure the corners match. They used under seal under the window UT. Everything else seems to be pretty good. But there are some things like in the front. I'll show you something in the front real fast. They did this job uh, about 20 years ago, 1994. The Amish people. I used to make them come here in the rain and work. They'd call me, see what the weather was like. I said, get your ass out here. Unacceptable. Uh, unacceptable. 10 inch piece. Here's some really unacceptable work right here. Two piece in casings. This is a no no in the siding business right here. Two piece to fucking casing. That's unacceptable. Now, at the time, I didn't do vinyl siding. Their caulking job is horrendous also. But cosmetically, it doesn't look that bad. Another fucking horrible job right here. Look at this. That J should be a full fucking piece. It should not have a fucking cut in it. Terrible J job up there. Overall, the header was pretty good. They did the headers pretty good. The post pretty good. Seal looks pretty good. This is uh, 24 years and it hasn't sagged yet. But uh, I'm actually pleased with the job they did. But they did do some hacking. There's no doubt about it. But overall, I'll give it about an 8. Even though they were butchering like... Uh, not butchering so much. Just uh, cutting it close on material. But the work, I mean, for real, it took me a while to realize that was two pieced. Actually, it doesn't look bad. So overall, the Amish did a decent job. But uh, material, if you get an Amish person, tell them don't cut corners. Tell them to do the fucking job thoroughly. Don't waste pan or waste pan. Don't waste panels. Use full panels. Don't fucking run two foot seams or whatever. And overall, it should be pretty decent. Let me see if they got any more work over it. They fucked up. Over here, they did a pretty good job of keeping this little molding here. Nice job of capping that mold. This house needs washed down. They capped that molding well. Capped the header pretty damn good, I'll tell you that. The uh, soffit work looks good. They mitered everything. It looks good. That's a pretty good molding piece right there they did. They did good work there. I'll give them that. Again, you don't want this. That should be a 60-inch panel. Should never be a half a panel in there. That's a fucking no-no. Like I said, the coral work was pretty good. Spot on. House needs washed down. Coral work was good. I gotta say, the seals has got a nice uh, slant to them. Window casing's nice. Boy, does this house need washed down. That dog box actually looks good the way they cut that corner in. Soft, it looks good up in the gable. Dog box looks great, actually. Overall, like I said, their, their work was, uh, you know, they did a little bit of hacking. The caulking on the window was atrocious. Look at that. That's just, that's fucking horrible. I mean, it's got gaps, and that's horrible. But overall, their general work that they did on the house, um, as far as neatness goes, I'm impressed with it. But they cut corners. They were trying to save material, obviously. More money for them, I guess. So, overall, like I said, I'll give them an 8. On the quality work, I'll give them about a 9. On the saving money, I'll give them a fucking 7, because they really shouldn't have put these panels in, like, fucking short panels like that. I used to do this shit for a living. I was one of the greatest vinyl starters ever in the Youngstown, Ohio vicinity. In fact, I was all pro for about 10 years on uh, Dell's Home Improvement, Robert Delsignor and Company. He had a pretty good con uh, pretty good contract with Ger Gerald Krim. We did a lot of, what do you call it, uh, lead abatement projects for Ger Gerald Krim. 
By the way, I started smoking again for one reason. Look at that beast. What's up, bro? I started smoking again for one reason. I don't get anxiety as much anymore. Like my anxiety. I never got anxiety in my life until the fucking claustrophobic coming in. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Beast. What's up, beast? Fucking beast. So, what did we learn today? The Amish will cut corners. They will do neat work. And, uh... But they did a hell of a job over here. There's a hell of a job.